Hockey 101 brought to you by Slippery Rock University. I'm here with two-time Stanley Cup champion Craig Adams, and we're talking about the art of the face-off. And I just want to ask Craig a couple of things uh, you think about when you go into the face-off in your defensive zone in terms of hand position, feet position. Hey, we got to win this face-off. This is for a Stanley Cup. Let's get her done. Well, I think the first thing, uh, obviously being in the defensive zone, um, you know, you're taking that defensive mentality and, um, you know, if you, if you don't feel like you can win the draw clean, at least you want to tie the other guy up. Um, you don't want to lose a clean, that's for sure. But the first thing you're going to look at, uh, the other guy, you're going to look to see whether he's a lefty or a righty. So me being a righty and uh, Bob being a lefty, we're both on what we call our strong sides here because we're both trying to pull the puck back to our backhand. So uh, we both, uh, neither one of us have an advantage. Um, if he was a righty, I might try and uh, might try and tie him up, but on this side, I'm probably just going to try and win the draw, uh, depending on how I'm doing that night. And your feet, do they have to be? Yeah. Do you cheat? How do you cheat on well, this? Well, technically, right? you're supposed to be right right in the middle. Um, you know, you don't have to be on the hatch marks, but you're supposed to be in the middle. But you know, naturally, uh, you get a little bit more leverage if you're further to this side. You can see the see the puck better a little bit. And, both guys would probably be over here, but if you're too far over here, uh, the lines will probably kick you out. What about your hand here? Where's it? How's it positioned on your stick? Um, for best strength and leverage, um, like I said, to turn the hand over probably and um, and lower down on the stick, I feel is is, is good. Uh, everybody's different, but uh, that's where I feel strongest. Do you always win it away from your net? Uh, on this side, uh, it's easier or easy for me to win with my net. On the other side, uh, depending on which way the guy's trying to win it, uh, I'll, I'll win it the same way, which is towards the net. Um, if I'm going to do that, usually uh, a lot of times it's Sergei Gonchar there, and he knows it's coming there. And um, you know, sometimes the goalie has to know it's coming there too. Well, that's a good question. How do how do the players on the ice know where you're going with the puck? Do you tell them prior to coming into the faceoff circle? Yeah, I mean, uh, usually like on a on a uh, on a penalty kill or something, you know, there's usually only one of a few guys standing on that side. Um, it's either Gonch or Mark Eaton usually, uh, and depending on the play we call to try and get the puck out, they I mean they know they know if I win it where it's going. Are you? Is it easier for you to get a right hand shot? to go against a left hand left hander in this circle or a right hander in this circle? Uh, it'd be easier against a right hander because I would then have he'd be on his weak side essentially. The pucks the lines with dropping the puck it's gotta come across his body and then out that way. Okay. Whereas for me, I see the puck first. My stick's right here, I'm trying to go here. So but most typically on this side, especially on a power play, uh, I'll be going against the lefty because they'll have a guy on his strong side and I'm on my strong side. So there's really no advantage to either guy. You, you can get more leverage. That being your strong side, you can get that butt end here in the open ice. The ref, the linesman be on this side. Yeah, the linesman's always on the board, on the board side. Um, and uh, in the in, at center ice, um, if it's at the start of the period, the ref will be on the side opposite the uh, penalty box. All righty. That was easy. You got yeah. one for me? One, two, three, go! <laughs>